Um, okay, cool. Yeah, so eight guys riding towards you. They're not going to be too, too long to get to you. Uh, riding hard, all on horses. Uh, it looks like they have spears. Uh, hard to make out anything else about them. Really, aside from the heavy cloaks. Them. Guys like is there is there moonlight? There is, yeah, yeah, it's pretty well lit. Um, can I roll to see if there's any chance of noticing like shining armor or anything? Yeah, definitely. Uh, you can just give me a perception. For you, eleven. Okay. Um, yeah, it's not too difficult to notice. There's definitely glints on steel. In fact, you can see each rider is armed with a spear and a shield. Okay, but Maybe it doesn't look like their body is shining. <laughs> It's hard to tell, because a lot of them are hunched over their horses with cloaks, but yeah, you definitely see a couple guys even in helmets, um, so they've got they've got metal on them, for sure. And they're distant, right? So. Yeah, they're, they're, um, the farm was like a, probably about a mile away, so you're seeing them ride hard towards you, you still probably got like 10 minutes or 15 minutes before they get to you. Um, did, we had a fire, didn't we? Yeah, we put it out, though. Yeah, you guys put it out. So if they if they're here in a few minutes, we could move and set up a better location if they come at us. I guess. Could we, it, what, didn't we stay just outside forest? Couldn't we just back into the woods a little bit? You guys are still a ways away from the forest, so oh. it's ahead of you, but it's like still another day or two's travel. Oh, okay, never mind then. Yeah, yeah, you guys got as close as you could to it in one day, but you're still hmm. not not there. Well, the barbarians have. Uh traps, don't they? Do you guys have traps? I have one hunting trap, and it's already set up. Oh, shit. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> they could go <laughs> into it, but that's that. How, how are we looking, guys? Like, health-wise? Not in, oh, sorry. How are we looking, physically? I think I think we're all good, because we rested a few times, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so we could take them if we had to. And I don't think we can really I... outrun them. They're on horseback, so... Well, oh, either, we have a cart, though. I was going to say, either they go past us, or we fight them, kill them, and then take their horses. Mm. Or fight them and die. Yeah. <laughs> do these do these guys uh, look familiar? Like, do they look like the Kren that we ran into before? Yeah, I recognize that. Yeah, so you can definitely tell these guys are Kren. The main reason why is, again, those very heavy gray cloaks, and... As they get kind of a little bit closer, moonlight glinting off their shields, you can see the Kren symbol, which is a gauntleted fist holding a flaming sword. There are, so this area, while more or less plains, is, you know, fairly hilly, so as they're galloping towards you, you could get on a slight elevation. I mean, it's not going to be like a huge one, but, you know, maybe like five to maybe six feet taller than them kind of thing. That is definitely a possibility. With the cart? Cart's going to be tough. Yeah. You might have to leave the cart behind uh, if you're going to do that. You wouldn't have to travel far to get that height. I mean, you still like see the cart in distance, but they definitely reach your cart before they reach to you. I'd say um, just stick by the cart and try and use that as our main defense if we had to. I could um, stay with the cart while everybody takes higher elevation, and then you guys can ambush them, and I can be bait. <clears throat> Who has long range weapons? I don't. Antimaeus really. does. You. I thought you had javelins or something. I have my spear. Oh. I can throw it, I, and I, then I have, I have my daggers. <laughs> or, I have one javelin and two throwing axes. Oh, there that's you go. Like he has. Because I don't have any axes. I've got three crossbows. <laughs> oh, right. I keep meaning to talk to you. With, there you go. I've got a fairly healthy <laughs> amount of gold, too, if you want to. Yeah, I think I had... I wrote it down. I think I have, like, 40. Yeah, yeah, that sounds about right. That makes sense. So, and what's the rough distance, Alex? 100, 100 yards with crossbows? Uh, like yeah. It's a shot, but that's kind of, like, the starting yeah, range, like, right? Yeah, like, 100 is, is pushing the range. Um, so, but you do it well within range. If you were to take a little bit of height on that thing, uh, you and you were waiting for them to reach the cart before firing on them, you'd be well within range at, at that distance, yeah. Because that's that's kind of what I'm thinking. If and correct me if I'm wrong, Alex, but if we could get the cart into a position that made it difficult for them to come at us on top of the hill, right? Like mm -hmm. this, if we could find a hill that's not like you know a clear mountain all the way around, <laughs> the hill stuff, right? If we can find something that we.
we could block with the cart that makes them have to dismount to get us or at least slow them down so we can get like two or three shots off and then charge them right yeah, with javelins yeah. and whatever yeah if you guys move quickly you could probably set the cart up near the base of one of these kind of uh small hills and um okay the, you know make it so that the main way they're either gonna have to go all the way around to get up to you or run up the side either way yeah you, by putting the cart there they'd be slowed down well we do that let's do yeah. that let's do it and actually, I'll ask Animaeus, too, if I can have one of those crossbows. <laughs> yep. Since we've got a few minutes. And... All right, so you guys move the cart. Um, you're starting to hear a little bit of rumbling on the, on the planes as the hoops gallop towards you. Uh, but you, you move the cart with some haste to kind of the base of the hill as far as you can get it up comfortably with the horses. And then are you still staying, like, directly with the cart there, Pi? Yeah. And the rest of you are going a little bit farther up the hill. Yeah. All right. So and then the, the three of you guys um, head up the hill. And are you guys just kind of like hanging out at the top of the hill, or how do you want to get positioned? I'm going prone. I want to lay on the and, ground. Uh, all right. Uh, you as well, Scott. Um. Yeah, I'll be seeing a defensive position with um with the crossbow. And then I, I assume I'll just take like maybe five bolts, like I'll just grab whatever you know. It's a, I'll give everyone ten, because we have thirty, so. Cool. Okay. okay. All right. Cool. So yeah, do you want ten? Sure. And a light crossbow. Sure. I don't have anything other than my spear and some daggers, so yeah. that could be really you helpful. Can write, you can write that down, then I'll take it off our sheet. Okay. I'll, I'll inspect my weapon too, mm -hmm. make sure it's looking good. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, I mean, his light crossbows aren't, uh, you know, fantastic by any means, but they're definitely, you know, good to kill with, right? They're pretty mm -hmm. similar to make sure of that. So, um, yeah, fine make, uh, nothing too, too terrible, just nothing too fancy with the lighter. Um, all right, so you guys get your first bolt loaded up and everything with the crossbow. Um, one thing I want to note with crossbows is they do take a boot action to reload, so just keep that in mind. Um, but I'm assuming that you would load them up for use. And then, um, yeah, laying prone and or defensively, waiting for these guys to show up. Now, how far back from the cart? So you could potentially be up to, like, 150 feet away from the cart and still fire these crossbows with some accuracy. Um, but, like, how far away do you want to be? Because, obviously, the whole farther you are, the longer will take you to run the cart if necessary. 35 feet. 35 Enough that I can get a shot or two off before they get to me. Yeah. Okay. They have to run to get me. <laughs> so you'll be, you'll be about 35, 40 feet away yeah. and uh, firing at Pi. Anything that. special you'd like to do near the cart? Um, Not gonna, die. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to pretend I'm sleeping. Light a lantern or something to so give yourself a little bit of light around the horses. Maybe not spook them. No, I'm just gonna do it in the dark here. Pretend yeah. I'm sleeping. Do it in the dark. Yeah. <laughs> you sure you're not a rogue? <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't urging. <clears throat> okay. All right. So you guys get to position as the eight riders gallop towards you. Um, they're at about where you were with the car previously, which is not too far away. And one of the horses topples over itself. Um, as you hear a man track. shout, he's thrown from his horse. Um, all the rest of the riders stop and kind of circle around him. It's just a big commotion. It is. Um, it takes several minutes for them to kind of regroup and get their bearings. Uh, one guy appears, like the guy who was thrown, appears to be all right. He's standing up, um, but he draws his sword. You can see him give a couple of big whacks to something on the ground uh, behind the other horses. Horse meat. Hmm. And then he sheathes his sword, and the rest of the horses round up, and they start off towards you guys again. He's giving his best to give a jog, but it'll be a little ways away. They gallop up to uh, to the cart, and so there are seven riders, and they uh, they call out to you, Pi, and say, Whoa there! Who are you? State your business! Oh, hail, travelers. I was just taking a nap. I'm... Just a humble merchant on his way to restock. Restock where? It seems you're heading north. Uh, to the Ivory Tower. I have business out there. Ah, what sort of business would you have with the Ivory Tower? 
Just simple goods and trade, that's all. Mind if we uh, take a look at your cart here? Oh, of course. Least you can do after disabling one of our horses. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I, d I don't know what you're talking about, but yeah, you're not going to find much. I'm out of right, stock. So they, kind of, they ride and they start to kind of encircle the cart. Um, a couple of them have spears pointed towards you, Pi. Um, a couple of the others are kind of using their spears to poke around the cart. And they say, you really don't have much for uh, for one that's supposedly trading. Yeah, what I'm out of stock. Like I said. Uh, okay. So you're going to the Ivory Tower a 10-day away to get supplies. That's right. And who else do you trade with, typically? Well, uh, that flaming farm over there I used to trade with. I don't know what happened over there. Okay, so with no reply to that, a couple things you can observe. They're definitely all um, Kren, as they were dubbed. Again, they're all wearing the, the symbols, dark gray cloaks. They do appear to be wearing, like, full metal armor, um, chain at the very least. Very well armed. Each has a spear and a sword at their side with a shield. Um, the one guy who stands out from this is kind of this rider whose horse is actually being drawn via rope to the back of another horse of one of these guys. And he's also in a gray Kren cloak, but he's just sitting there kind of with his head down and not really paying attention to what's going on. Hmm. Um, Do I maybe see, like, a collar around his neck? Uh, give me a perception. Can I take note of the men that talking? Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay. Yeah, anything in particular you want to uh, note but or identify? Does he have a helmet on? He doesn't. He's one of the very few that don't. There's two that do not. Uh, I will whisper to my fellows <clears throat> to, to aim for the helmet list one. <laughs> uh, 14. I will aim for the helmet list one. Okay. It's, uh, it's difficult to tell, but with the commotion, uh, yeah, you can definitely see a collar around that guy's neck. I'll, I'll whisper to Maple. What's what's the keyword? What What's the sign? Oh, you'll know. <laughs> yeah. This is fine. This is fine. We'll, we'll, yeah, this is fine. We'll know. He'll. I'll he'll... Give you the signal. Drink it, drink it, you had it. It's me, it's me. Kiss me. I'm going to kiss you. I want to save this guy, but I. Yeah, that's. I kind of want to try and get out of this, like. Role play style. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, and out of out of character, that's what I'm trying to allow. But Antimus is a little bloodthirsty right about now. So... He always is. <laughs> well, he's he's mourning Beth. He's trying. Yeah. Okay. After a few moments of silence, and inspecting the cart, um, <clears throat> the the man without the helmet says to you, Pi, "We've been looking for some." some dark ones in the area or at least allies of dark ones i don't suppose you uh would have any idea about where they might be or what are seen anyone on the road uh they have to be more specific i don't know what dark one is <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what a dark one is interesting very interesting answer dark ones as you would know are those that ally themselves with the darkness. <laughs> Though, I suppose someone that uh, that seems so <laughs> ignorant would either have to be quite a stupid merchant, or perhaps someone who's just trying to put a cover over our eyes. And, um... Either way, I'm in trouble. Stupid idiot! Stupid idiot! Um... He, he looks back to, uh, to one of the other guys, and they start, start whispering to, to one another. And um, the, man, the man then looks back to you and says, Well, I think that uh, it would be best if we were to escort you along the way to our camp. You'll understand just for a few questions. Um, we'll let you on your way after that, perhaps to somewhere a little bit more savory than the Ivory Tower. Believe me, far better places to trade goods than there. Where, um, um, where, where is this camp? Uh, just, just a little bit to the east. Uh, don't, don't worry. It won't take more than a day or two's ride. Huh. He, well, uh, he calls up to his men. Take a look at the area. I'm sure he's got friends about. Um. And a couple. I have a quick question though. Um, are there goats there? 
Cause they're never goats. Fire. Hey, fire! Guys, yeah, about the hel helmet. <laughs> <laughs> it, it took me a while to process. That. I, was, I was almost starting to understand. Like, uh, <laughs> no. See the group knows. <laughs> we know. <laughs> okay, so what you guys see after hearing this this uh, <laughs> fairly distinct. Scene, uh, there are two riders that aren't heading directly towards you, but they're definitely kind of circling around the hill to, to check the general vicinity. So there's those two guys that might be a threat to the three of you soon. There are five riders surrounding um, Pi. One, again, is this guy with the cloak pulled over his head, kind of looking down. And you can still see the guy who no longer has a horse kind of trotting along. He's probably, like, still 100 feet away, at least, from the cart, so he's kind of he won't be there for, for a little bit, but um, yeah, so you guys get this kind of first round of, of action to act however you like in the initiative after. Shooting oh. the helmetless. Yeah, shooting, shooting the helmetless. Okay. Yeah. Alright, how about you, Scott? What would you like to do? Oh, yeah, we're all going to shoot at him, hopefully take, you know, one of, as long as one of us hits him in the head. <laughs> okay, uh, Pi, is there anything you'd like to do? Uh... If one of the guys drops from the, this arrow onslaught, I'd like to try and get out of this circle so I'm not surrounded and put my back to a hill or something. Just so. jump on the cart. Yeah. Something. I don't know. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. All right, Jordan. Can I get your shot first? Okay. I'm gonna use inspiration. Okay. Nice. Which is gonna be good. Um. So that's 25. Nice. All right. Um. Your inspiration, did you roll high before you added your inspiration? Yeah, but that's okay. Okay, because I will say that you can add inspiration after you roll. It's just before I tell you the result. Oh! So, okay. So don't use it here if you're high with okay. if your roll is high. 22. Yeah. Perfect. That's, that's, that's actually a handy thing. Yeah, so if you roll like shit, you think you need it, you can add your inspiration, but you just can't do it after I've told you if it's a success or not. All right, 22 is definitely a hit. Oh, do I get sneak? Uh, yeah, you sure do. Does that mean the Scott and I get advantage? Sure oh, does. So. You get advantage as well there, Jordan, I guess, if you want to check if you get a crit. No. He's in a world of hurt, though. Not a world of, not as good as Pi's crit. Pi's, but... <laughs> For Ant to miss, this is a pretty good hit. <laughs> uh, what's the damage? Uh, 50. Uh, basically one shot. I'm also going to use my inspiration. Okay. All right, go ahead. Hold your inspiration. So it's D6. Okay. 14 hit. Ooh, unfortunately not. <laughs> um, all right, Scott, take your shot. So you get 17. Okay. That is unfortunately a miss as well on this guy. So, um, Jordan, yours pegs him, like, right in the back of his shoulder. He exclaims loudly, uh, and then two other bolts strike the cart. Hi. Um, not, not anywhere near you, but just you can hear the thunder of the cart. And this guy starts just yelling commands, and he says, There's others out there, get them, two more of you go. Um, so two more start turning like they're going to ride off, um, and the rest keep their spears pointed at you, Pi. And the main guy um, looks at you and says, This would be a lot easier if you tell us where they are now, much less if you will die. Um, and a couple of the guys, of course, that are still around, that are not pointing spears at you, kind of tr get, try and get to the point of depending on how initiative goes, but it looks like they're going to get around him, behind him, and try and put their shields so that more shots aren't going directly at him. Um, Alright, so let's roll for initiative to see how this plays out. 22. 11. Uh, 5. 9. 15. Alright, yes, you're up first. Okay, I'll reload and fire. Miss. Alright, another one flies past the captain. Uh, Almagar, what would you like to do? Okay, I think I'll probably get one more shot off, so I'm going to reload and fire as well. Do they see us okay. yet? Like, where hard to tell. Oh. Yeah, hard to tell. Um, likelihood is probably yes, unless they're really not paying attention, but they're probably paying attention now, because you suck a bolt to the back of their teeth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to use uh, inspiration as well now. It's still... Uh, <laughs> I know. I rolled a one on my inspiration. I was like, this doesn't help me at all. I have 15, so I used the inspiration, but an extra one. Oh, okay. 
Yeah, so another miss. Bolt flies past this guy. Um, okay, so they do successfully get two horses in behind him with their shields up. Um, two, the two horsemen that were looking for you guys now appear to see you. However, their horses are struggling to get up to where you are, as per your plan. So they both dismount, and they're now trudging up to you guys. They're not going to get to the three of you this turn, but they will likely get there next turn. Two others that um, he told to go after you as well also ride and do the exact same thing. They dismount. They're trying to trudge up the hill after you guys now. Um, again, won't be there this turn, but potentially next, depending on how things go. And so two and two, there are three um, remaining around, or with, including the captain, sorry. So there's the one guy with the shield behind him and uh, the captain himself. He's also got a shield up, like I said. And there's also the guy who's got the cloak pulled over his head uh, that's being trailed by the guy holding the shield up. The guy holding the shield up um, says a few words um, to the guy with his hood down. Uh, Pa, you can kind of make them out. They sound like some kind of strange, strange language. Uh, Nothing that would ring a bell to you, more than likely. And this guy kind of looks up so he pulls his hood off his head. You can see it's changed. He's definitely male. He's got long, scraggly hair. And he starts chanting. And the sky starts to thunder above you. I need a I need a dexterity saving throw from the three of you on the hill, please. I get advantage on that, because I can see that coming. Yep. And so do you. Twenty-one. 19. Um, I used inspiration, so I got 22. Nice. Okay. So this guy is continuously chanting, um, and lightning just starts striking the ground, and uh, as it hits the ground, chunks of stone and earth fly out of these holes, um, but successfully the three of you get out of the way of the spells, um, but he doesn't look like he's letting up. Uh, Let's kill another magic user! <laughs> Great. Maple, uh, Maple. Yeah, Maple, you are up. Um, I'm gonna turn and I'm gonna shoot down at the guys coming up the hill at us. Okay. Um, Alright, um, arbitrary question, but there's two kind of coming from the left, two coming from the right. Do you have a preference on which one you want to shoot? One's on the left. I miss! Sure. Really, really bad. <laughs> I rolled it too. Uh, okay, so you fire another sh- reload, and fire a shot, miss. The guy kind of puts up his shield and fears the bullet flies over him. Um, okay, Pi, what would you like to do? Obviously, there's only the three of them, only one of which the captain is paying attention to you right now. So you've definitely got routes to go no longer. Sort of. uh, the three guys are in front of me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like the captain directly in front of you who's paying attention to you, and there's two guys behind him. One's the mage, one's the guy with the shield. And they're both looking up the hill, they're not looking at you. I want to try and uh, knock over the magic user, break his concentration or something. <clears throat> okay, cool. Um, are you just going to, like, dive at him to do that? Yeah. Or do you have athletics or acrobatics? Any chance? Actually, you know what? I'm going to send Jojo to bite him on the leg. And I'll fight okay. these guys. That's All right. Do. Okay, so Jojo goes. Uh, you want to give me a tackle? Seb. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, Just licking his foot. <laughs> the dog goes up to the mage to try and bite it, and um, these horses are clearly military and somewhat trained, and the horse is now trying to get around and kick at the dog a little bit. Uh, doesn't hit or anything, but definitely disables Jojo from biting the ankle. Okay. Uh, what, so what would you like to do? Try and get my back to some sort of wall and just take these guys on. Just don't want to get surrounded by them, that's all. Yeah, for sure. So um, yeah, you can get your back kind of against the cart if you'd like, so that's we can't get directly behind you. Yeah, and I'll, I guess I'll ready my action. Uh, you can you can make an attack. Oh, I can make an attack. Okay, I'll, yeah. I'll attack the um, the captain. Natural twenty. Woo! <laughs> So, okay. yeah, three damage in total. Wait, no, Whoa. sorry. Eleven damage, sorry. Eleven damage. Okay. That's better. <laughs> okay. 
looks like for a crit and you did three damage. Yeah. Like, wait a minute. Three chance, man. You said line of sight's pretty much blocked by the other two horses. Uh, to the captain, you could try and take a shot at him, but just take this. Yeah. And these guys are gonna reach me in a few few minutes or a few seconds here. If they're climbing up the hill. Um. They might not be able to switch their sword at you in the immediate. Is there a path down the hill that I see? Yeah, there's 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 one directly um, straight down the hill. It's blocked by the cart, and there's one that goes back the other side of the hill. Um, if I run down the hill towards the cart, yeah. can I like jump attack anyone? <laughs> uh, yeah, if you, if you use like your extra action to dash or whatever, then you yeah. attack either the mage or the guy that's holding. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. I'll attack the guy that's holding the mage. I'll drop my crossbow on the top of the hill and just pull my sword, my uh, short sword and just dash down the hill. You uh, draw a short sword, dash down the hill, and take a swing. Oh, nice. Um, so that's 24, so 7 damage. Okay, you slash him, uh, catch mainly a shield, a little bit of chest in there too. He's got his spear. Almagar, what would you like to do? We'll shoot him, drop on the dice for <laughs> Well, I guess not so. all. Oh. all right. Um, so yes, having seen Antimaeus, you know, basically as I see him do it, I'll be kind of falling right behind him. Drop the crossbow, turn around, and just rage charge at the captain. Okay. Alright, so you're gonna try and hit the captain? Um. Or yes. do you wanna go one of the two? So if you, if you oh, hit yeah. the captain, you won't be able to strike him this turn. You can definitely try and get around to him. Uh, if you hit one of the two in the front, you can get to them and hit. Right. Because they're trying to block the way so you guys can't reach him, essentially. Yeah, I'll, I'll go for yeah, one of the guys guarding the captain. Okay, alright. Uh, do you want to go for the mage or the guy controlling the mage? Ah, uh, the guy controlling the mage. Okay, alright. So you go for the same one as the mage struck. Go ahead and give me a swing. Do I give him flanking by chance? Uh, I guess I guess flanking doesn't have to be directly behind. So yeah, you can take advantage of that roll. Oh, God, it's because it's 22 to hit. Oh, it's a hit either way, yeah. You, you can take your advantage roll if you'd like, just to make sure you don't crit. Right. No. Okay. Alright, but it's a, a hit regardless, so go ahead and roll damage. Nine. <clears throat> nice. Okay. Wow, it could have been a lot lower. I just, when you have a d12, you never roll like four to five. <laughs> Alright, so you rush down right after Antimaeus, you take a hack at this guy, um, your axe sinks directly in his chest, and he slowly falls off his horse, spooking the horse and tries to kind of gallop up and run. The captain hears the commotion, um, starts yelling, Get back down here, you fools, to the guys on the hill. Um, captain is going to try and spear you, and he will miss. Zena, can I get a dex saving throw from you, please? Can I get advantage on that? You sure do, yeah. Woo! Seventeen. Another lightning strike comes from the sky, barely misses you explodes around you, but you are not struck um, as the magic user continues his chant. Two of the men on the hill turn around, run down the hill. They get in kind of behind Antimaeus and Almagar. They do not get a chance to strike this turn. The other two make it up to you, Maple. Um, again, they do not have a chance to strike this turn, but they are in front of you, Maple. What would you like to do? Uh, I'd like to use my bonus <coughs> action and go into a rage. As I drop my crossbow and I pull out the short sword and my shield, and I will um, attack the closest guy to me. Sure. All right, give me an attack. Uh, seventeen to hit. Yes, seventeen to hit. Terrible. So eleven damage then. So yeah, you strike the guy well, hack part of his shield away, and uh, get him get the chest. Hi, what would you do? Same thing. Twenty-four from me. And 13 from Jojo. Okay, uh, Jojo's still going after the mage? Yeah. Okay. Alright, so you both hit. Uh, 12 damage from me, and 5 damage from Jojo, and the mage has to succeed a DC 11 strength or be knocked prone. Right, he is not knocked off the horse, uh, but the annoyance is definitely seen by him as he stops chanting. 
You also take a strike at the captain, shield up again the wave with the strength of your hit, and you hear some cracking. Um, yeah, so and he kind of lets out a, a cry as you do so. Antimaeus, there's the mage, or you can get to the captain if you'd like. So we felt the guy that had the chain to the mage, right? Correct, yeah. Um, I will I will yell, um, now is the time to free yourself, you fool. And then I have a straight beeline for the captain from okay. this vantage, do I? Or oh yeah, yeah, you can get right to him. Yeah. Okay, um, and then Pi's engaged with him, right? Yes, you'll have him. Um, so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna throw a dart as I'm running at him. Okay. This is pull out a dart out of one of my pouches. Okay. And then, um, I'm going to stab him with my short sword when I get okay. to him. Does the dart have any special properties or anything else to it? No. No, no. not that I'm aware of. <laughs> <laughs> it's metal and three. it's pointy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. It hurts like hell. I don't get advantage on the dart, right? Uh, no, because it has to be a game. Okay, so 17. <coughs> okay. And then... Uh, so 17 pings off the guy's armor. And then uh, 21 for my short sword. Uh, 11 damage. Nice. See, short sword shouldn't do more damage than big swords. <laughs> when I'm reading. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I agree. You guys I, do a very good I have high sneak. Damage. I have right. sneak right now. So. I just oh, nice. those magic numbers out of <laughs> okay, so you plunge your short sword into his back, um, and it goes cleanly through. Alphalinar, what would you like to do? Uh, the captain's down, the guy holding the mage is down, it's just the mage. Oh, uh, sorry, sure. there's also two guys running at you from the hill, too. I shouldn't say just the mage, there's also two on the hill fighting uh, Mabel. But directly in front of you, there's the mage. I will turn back and run up towards Mabel. Okay. Can I reach any, any of those guys up there? Uh, you won't be able to attack any of the guys that are up there currently. You can attack the two that are running down the hill towards you. Um, you right, of course. Yes, that's definitely there. Okay. All right, so you'll run to one of them first. You can you can try and run past them after you take an attack if you like, or you can just stop with them and, and engage in combat with them. Like. Yeah, but I'll make sure I'm, I am running when I meet them so I get that extra little okay. <laughs> do, do the chest kick and then the axe to the face. It works really good. <laughs> oh, that'd be awesome. <laughs> but I don't think it's happened this time. Let's see. 14. It's unfortunately not enough to hit. So, my guy shields up. Boom! Oh. And you hear the vibration <laughs> from the shield. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, uh, it's just not. It's not straight. Okay. Uh, so, are you going to continue running past these guys? Or, or try and fight them? Yeah, I will continue running. Okay, alright. So, you're going to run to me. They try and take an opportunity to slash you as you run by, but they both miss. Uh, Pi, what's, um, what's Jojo's armor class? Twelve. The mage looks down at Jojo, extends his hand, and says some no! strange arcane words. No! And glows red and black. Grinicus Milticus. As a beam casts forward from his hand for 19 points of damage. Ooh, well, he's out. <laughs> yeah, he has okay. exactly yeah. 19 yeah. <laughs> Jeez! Yeah, so, it's good. <laughs> so Jojo collapses to the uh, to the ground, unconscious. Outside of that, the two armored soldiers continue to run down at the cart as Almagar runs past them. Um, one is... Running to you, Antimaeus. The other is gonna try and get between Pi and Mage. Antimaeus, you're 14, right? Yeah. It is a hit for six points of damage. The other one manages to strike your armor. You can feel vibration throughout, but it does not leave a wound. The two on you. I also have resistance, because, you know, raging. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And you have resistance against slashing as well, part of that, I believe? Uh, yes, bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing damage. They both strike you, Maple, and you take a total of seven points of damage. Of seven? Yeah. Okay. And that's with, uh, resistance. Maple, would you like to do? 
Um, I will slash at the, I guess, the one I, I attacked last time. 22 to hit. That's definitely hit, yeah. Five damage. All right, you hack him down. So, Flat goes the weapon directly into his chest. He collapses to the ground. And I'll just turn and take stance at the next guy that I okay. guess now Scott's going to be running at, but that just because it's the only other guy on the hill. Five, what would you like to do? I'm going to knock that mage the fuck out. <laughs> right. Are you looking to kill him or actually no. take him on the I just want to knock him unconscious. He still has to revive the dog. That's <laughs> uh, a one. <laughs> you got to knock him out and be like trip and like... I'm flustered about my dog. While you're trying to reach this guy up on his horse, you kind of take a little bit of a stumble, um, and you end up wrong. Now you slip in the mud, and you end up wrong. No, no other negative effects. Okay. Um, can you also give me a d20 roll for Jojo um, Tensel? Failed. Okay, so we better. That's me, that's what I'd like to do. There's the mage, and there's the two, obviously the one guy engaged with you, and the one guy engaged with mine. I'm gonna yell at the mage again to, to free himself. Okay. Uh, does he seem to, like, vocally respond to me yelling at him? Doesn't seem that way. Can you give me a charisma check, though? Eleven. <laughs> yeah, no, he doesn't seem to at all. In fact, he doesn't even seem to register what you're saying. He has put the dog, blasted it, he looks over at, uh, at you guys now. It's continuously chanting. One thing you'll notice too, if you're taking a second look at the guy, his eyes are like bloodshot red. It's just like it's all swollen and red around each of his eyes. Um, the guy looks like his cheeks are sunken, like he hasn't eaten well. He looks like he's in really rough shape for his soul. Who's got that collar on his neck? taking good care of these guys. Yeah, he's got a big green collar. Since I had the collar for a very long time until recently. Yes. <laughs> what, what can you tell me about it? Is it pure, like, cast iron metal, or is it some kind of other substance? Oh, uh, you the did look into thing. this before. I remember you asking about this. When we, when yeah, we first like, got it, you one. spent a lot of time looking at it. Yeah, so the metal is something that is you're not familiar with. The closest thing you could identify it with would be, like, silver or, like, a very strong silver, as if silver was almost made of steel or something less malleable than silver, but... It looks almost like silver. The other thing you noticed was that there was no clasp on it in any way. The only thing that got it off that woman was that spell that got cast by the kid that blew up the collar off of her. But even after it was off, there was no clasp, no clear way of joining it. Um, when you had thrown on the one person, it was just kind of like clinked together sort of thing. And it seems to sit well enough that way. But yeah, this thing looks like it's a solid band of metal all the way around. Can I do an intelligence check? on whether or not a sword hit would, would do any damage to this? Yep, 100%. 20, not natural. Obviously not 100% surety, because you're not extremely well versed in yeah. stuff, but you're pretty confident that a sword hit would not be very effective against it. No. Okay. We'll look at Pi. It, does he seem in distress on the ground, or is he kind of like, oh, what a fool? Um, I'm probably just like, damn it, shit, fuck! <laughs> My dog! <laughs> he stabbed her! Oh, no. hey, oh. <laughs> so yeah, distressed. <laughs> um, if I disengage, which is one of the rogue things where I can just ditch out and run yep. away without AoE, can I get behind the mage? Uh, yeah, certainly. Okay, I'll do that and then um, take a swing at him with my... Actually, Pi's yeah, beside yeah. the horse, right? You will not get advantage on it only because Pi's been prone, so he's not considered it. Oh, no, 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 that's fine. Um, so, if I hit the horse and the horse goes running, is it going to run into Pi or the guys that are trying to defend the mage? <laughs> uh, it would likely run into the guys that defend the mage, assuming it goes in a straight beeline, right? Okay. I'm, I'm going to slash the horse instead of... So that's 19 to hit. Four legs. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of 
damage. You give it a good slash on its side, um, big open gaping wound, a couple things happen. Um, horse freaks out, mage tries to retain control, manages to, uh, so he's remaining on the horse. The horse is a little spooked, starts stomping around. Sorry, bye. <laughs> <laughs> No way you could have So it does trample pie a little bit here. Uh, <laughs> oh! Oh! Damn it! Oh! <laughs> um, for three points of damage as he kind of gets glancing kicks from the horse's boots. Um, the horse is like prepped to go and it's jutting around and rearing and stuff, but the maid is maintaining control. Uh, somehow. Okay. Maintaining control on the horse or maintaining control of the spell? Taking control of the horse. Okay. Still muttering words, just where that's directed now is it's So stockable, stockable. Or a soap or something. <laughs> Alright, um, Almagar, what would you like to do? So there's one guy, uh, Mabel has killed one, there's one guy remaining directly in front of her. Um, can I add something? Sorry, yeah, right. sorry. I'm gonna yell, Almagar, get your butt down here! <laughs> you hear, you hear <laughs> Antimas calling. <laughs> <laughs> you just picked this up. Are you getting your cardio tonight? <laughs> this is why. You, this is why you used to play a ranger man. You just stand in the middle and shoot arrows whichever direction you needed to. <laughs> it's like a tank can't be in two places at once. <laughs> My back. Well, that's right because I haven't even gotten up to the well, pretty much up to So I'll see that. Uh, Mabel just dropped the guy, and then so I figure, okay, that should probably. <laughs> okay, so yeah, you're gonna turn around and head back. Yes. <laughs> All right. I'll do that. I'll, I'll even do that. Like, ah. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So you, <laughs> you, frustratingly turn around just and run back. Foaming out the mouth. <laughs> ah! I'm reaching every every few seconds I'm not hitting something, I'm getting even more ragey. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Um, these guys. Okay. So the one standing over over you, Pi, says, By the light, I smite you! And he's just going right to the ground, looking to put his uh, weapon straight for you. I like to use uh, a bonus <clears throat> action. Okay. And whistle it. Chief, to jump out of the cart and attack the guys attacking Pi. Chief is just sleeping this whole time. No, I had him laying down in the back of the cart. I said that. That's why I asked what. Iggy. That's why I asked what you were doing with with Jojo. I'm like, okay, he's just gonna lay down in the cart. Then he's my my ace in the hole. He, he's not trained for this. Jojo is a better dog at fighting than Chief is. Even though Chief sounds like a you know, more... He's just more a sled game. dog! He, 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 he's, he's supposed to pull my sleigh. <laughs> I'm gonna get him killed. So then he should... <laughs> so he needs a name like Jojo. <laughs> no, he does. Next just like game. Sarge. <laughs> actually, no, Sarge, actually, that name is pretty fitting. Hi, the guy thrusts his sword into your shoulder. It pierces directly through. Um, you take five points of damage from that stab. Um, your dog jumps out there, um, Maple, so you can... Ooh, my other back! So give me an attack roll for it, um, it'll be the same as whatever the attack roll, uh, he has on his dog as well. 17 to hit. Yeah, that's definitely a hit on this guy. For four damage! Nice, okay. I don't get not prone or anything. Oh yeah, he has to make a DC 11. He does uh, maintain standing position. Oh, right. Oh yeah, because if you ever do get that, that's a huge bonus. <laughs> exactly. The guy that you kind of disengaged with there, Jordan, um, and then turn around on the mage, he's going to stay on you here. He's going to be able to swing at you. And he will hit uh, for 12 points of damage. Mage seeks his eyes on you as well, appreciating that you slashed his horse. He seems to be having some difficulty however, <clears throat> casting while trying to maintain his horse. 
we get any attacks of opportunity on casting people in 5e? Yep. If he fires another one of those red and black bolts, it misses, though. Uh, whizzes by your head. That's okay. It looks like the horse kind of reared as uh, as he cast it. Okay. The one on you there, Maple, he will miss. Maple, it is your turn. I will attack the guy that just tried to hit me. Eleven hit. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, no, if he gets the shield up in the way, as it is. Bye. Would you like to stand with me? I would. <laughs> <laughs> Can, can I use a healer kit after I stand up, or is that a full action? Okay, so the healer's kit will allow you to, with one action, stabilize somebody. So you could stabilize your dog, essentially, without having to make a wisdom check, but that's all it's going to do. But it's a full action, yeah. It's only one action, so you could do it uh, as instead of your attack. It's a move to stand up, and then you could take your attack action to, to stabilize Jojo if you'd like. It I have the healer feet, so when I stabilize him, he's going to have one hit point. Can I order him to retreat afterwards? Yeah, yeah you could. Okay, I'm going to do that then. So I'll stabilize him. Okay. Uh, he'll get up, and I'll tell him to run the fuck away. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I'm going to use an action surge and attack that guy that stabbed me in the shoulder. Alright, sounds good. As I try to talk here, and. Fucking JoJo's blood spitting at him. Run away! Run away! JoJo looks at you longingly. I love you! <laughs> um, 18 to hit. Yeah, it's definitely hit. 9 to hit. Alright, strike that guy. Blood foams from his mouth. He's still standing, but looking a little haggard. Okay. Ask me, ask me what you like to do. Helmagar is running down this mountain and is fairly close. Yeah, yeah, he'll be within striking distance very, very shortly, a few seconds away. Okay, and then we have two guys in the mage and one guy on the hill. Uh, we've got one guy on the hill, the one guy running, or sorry, the one guy that was on you, one guy that's on Pi, and the mage. And not the minute the game, but it is the mage look like he's ready to cast another spell? <laughs> he does. And he's staring at me, right? I might be dead. Um, I might kill Mr. Mage, you pants, maybe. And the only one that Pi is flanking would be he's next to the mage. He has someone on him. So I could flank the mage, or I could run around and flank his wounded guy. But still die. They're dead. Well, Almogar is just gonna have to pick up the pieces, so. <laughs> <laughs> I will. Flank this mage guy, I think. Oh, I'm gonna die. That's okay. So, I will take it. Hide under his foot. Does a 14 hit him? Yes, it does. He can take 9 points of I hate you damage. <laughs> <laughs> Um, how does he look? He's looking very, very wounded. Um, He's already looking pretty bad before you hit him. <laughs> and then I will throw a dart in the face of the guy that's going to kill me. Uh, the mage or the guy who's chasing after you? The, the guy that's going to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alright. So both of them. Yeah, either one. Uh, um... <laughs> Or should I just throw it at the horse? <laughs> <laughs> at this point, this is always something to right in the horse's eye. <laughs> Die! <laughs> Eight horses. You know what? Can I can I see the guy that Pi is fighting? Oh, yeah. and, and whip a dart at his face? <laughs> yes. Dang it. Oh well. Uh, 24. Oh yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> it was so close to a crit. That would have just been... Too good. I think it's a D4 for a dart, so. Yeah, I believe so, yeah. But so, so that's six darts in the face. Oh, yeah, you kill the guy. Dart yeah. right in the face. So, why you're fighting this guy, and you just, like, take a big chunk out of him, and he's like, Ugh, and all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> I look up at Antimaeus, and, and I give him the big thumbs up. <laughs> and, and then, with, like, a, like a really, like, you're like, what is that face? I'm just like, that one was for you, buddy. <laughs> 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 
I said I'm gonna die. I don't know where the second horse came from, but it happened. <laughs> Alright, Alma got the horse. Alright, Almagar. Um, so you're rushing down. You are in range of anybody you want to be, essentially. So there's the one, there's the mage on the horse, and then there's the guy who is looking like he's blind, ready to strike. Uh, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> my mother, get up there! <laughs> Rage doesn't mean smirk. No. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. <laughs> so yes, I'll be going to the to the other guy who's actually going to strike. going to hack that man. Yeah. Ah, 19. That is it. Alright, let's roll more than 4. Oh, I rolled a 1! So that phrase is <laughs> Well, at least it's the damage. damage. Did you, you're raging though, so you get plus two? Yeah, so it'll be six total. Oh. Right, because I had the... Yeah. yeah. I was right, hoping so you didn't you, add it. <laughs> you come down at this guy and you hack him, and it, like, hits the armor, and you see a big gash and some blood coming out. He doesn't look too pleased with life, but uh, <laughs> still among the living. Okay, uh, here's them. So... Let's see what Mr. Guy with Sword wants to do. Whether or not he wants to close in on the one in front of him, or or uh, turn around. Okay, and why are you still fighting? <laughs> um, Jordan, or Antman, sorry, are you looking pretty injured, or are you? Uh, I'm I'm pretty much like this, like just do it. Just <laughs> so he knows you're easy pickings at this point. Okay, let's, let's chase the wounded gazelle. I'm hoping I hurt the wizard enough that he won't kill me either, but... <laughs> okay, yeah, unfortunately, um, Shit. this guy yells some stuff about the light and how you dark ones should all perish in it. Um, he's gonna strike at you and miss. I'll take it. Uh, he'll miss. Yeah, he'll miss pretty substantially. Oh, oh yeah! Uh, I'll close my eyes and just wait for it. Just, you like close just, your eyes and like that little bit of a cringe and it just like goes over you. You're just like Yeah, yeah the guy didn't expect that like his hurt that bad from Alagar and he just like kind of as he stands he just oh, and kind of draws the weapon. Huh. Huh. Um, I just say though for a raging barbarian I've been quite dainty. I'm so mad. Oh my <laughs> You're really furious. Mr. Mage says a few magical arcane words and fires a bolt directly at you, Antimance. Um, destroys the ground between your feet, but doesn't hit you. <laughs> <laughs> he's, still, he's still struggling with the horse. Uh, uh, should have been, could have been a death shot, but unfortunately. The disadvantage of it's... riding a horse that's very angry. It's like that, like it's mind. like that scene in Pulp Fiction where they start shooting at Samuel L. Jackson and there's bullets all around him. <laughs> yeah, uh, um, it, it's my new cloak. The mage in his eyes, you can kind of see him. His eyes like flickering around, almost as if he's like looking for routes to uh, to leave. But he he looks like something's just compelling him to remain and continue fighting. The one on the U Maple is gonna miss as well. Yeah, right. he is. This guy's giving up on life. Alright, would you like Chief to do anything this turn? Um, so where where is he in coordination to Pi and Chief and the the guy that's fighting? He's I, kind I, of right in that mix, so he can get he can make it to anyone in that whole fight, essentially. So the guy, the mage, the mage's horse, Pi. He's gonna go for the horse. He's gonna nip at the horse. Attack. Thirteen. Thirteen. All right, that is a. Grab the horse's fifth leg. That should get. That's it. exactly what I was thinking. Fifth <laughs> <laughs> leg or <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> Sorry. That's a... Horse hunters, because, you know, well. <laughs> that was good teeth. There we go, horse teeth. Uh, for five. Shoes on this horse. Um, 
horse is not too too happy about that. Of course, you're gonna try and kick at uh, that sheep here. Did yeah. you make the horse in front of me? Yeah, yeah, they can still, uh, still never okay. save her. Oh, okay. It's, it's I, a 11? Yeah, yeah, DC 11. Strength. Alright, horse does um, definitely not fall over. Very, You should be very happy that was not its attack roll, however. Uh -huh. <laughs> Alright, it does still try and kick cheap as it's still standing. Yeah, okay, it'll miss. However, as the horse is kicking, the mage is leaving. He does not. Mage goes flying from his yeah. horse as the horse kicks to attack uh, cheap. And as he strikes the ground, he hits his head with a clunk and goes on. For me, guys, are both huffing and puffing. One's obviously quite wounded. Um, but they don't feel like they're fine on the tree. Okay, so Maple, what would you like to do? Uh, I'm gonna continue attacking the one guy that's in front of me. Okay. It's 15 hit. Boom. Yeah. On. Uh, very, very close. Glasses is on across the breastplate. It's like an epic battle on yeah. a hilltop with the moon in the background. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just... I just downed his buddy, now this one guy's fighting for his life. Yeah. Metal on metal. Didn't Titan expect a woman goes. to give him this much trouble. Alright, Milo, what would you like to do? Mage is unconscious on the ground, and there's still the one guy there. Who, uh, I'm gonna wake up the mage and sick him on Antimaeus. <laughs> Um, how close are the other guys to me? Uh, the last kind of guy there is well within range, uh, like a few feet away. I will fuck his face up. Okay, that's good. Sounds like a good song. Yeah. <laughs> I will fuck his face up with a natural 20! <laughs> wow, yeah, you definitely fuck his face up. I thought you were like, next tap. Good all night, folks. That's awesome. 18 damage. Okay. 18. Yep. <laughs> Overarching slash, you hit his helmet, making it just hear the skull split within it. He yeah. does like a flip still in the helmet, everything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Blood pours down his face and hit his balls face first with the mud. Two 20s tonight, that's All awesome. Okay, right. that's a man, so what would you like to do? Still surviving. So, no one else I can see except the, the top of the hill, epic fight. Correct, yeah. I will stupidly reach down and try to remove this collar from the mage's neck. Nick, can you give me a perception first? I would love to. You perceive that he's just thinking it. <laughs> I, per I perceive a 10. Okay, alright. Yeah, so you take a look at the mage, you see the collar again, and take it off. How do you want to do that? Or sorry, you did say you had to take it off, right? Yeah. yeah. So, just based upon what what I've been playing with the collar, I'm, I'm literally just going to try to, like, pull it off. Like, disengage it, just like it was a piece of rope, almost. Um, the ch is the chain connected to anyone currently? No, it's just dragging on the ground. Grab the chain, and then, like, with that hand, I'll try to pull it off. Okay. Yeah, 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 hundred percent. So you're like holding the chain in one hand and then attempting to remove it. Yeah. I don't know if you want to make any kind of check with it. Um, yeah, can you give me a uh He snaps his neck. Intelligence please. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sorry, what was that? Twenty. Twenty? Okay. Just trying to help. <laughs> Every time I try to help, I kill him. Okay, you're unable to take it off, but you are smart enough uh, to realize that this thing's trying to do something as you grab it. Um, you pull your hand off before you just have blood. Snazzy. Is it? Does it feel bad? Oh yeah. <laughs> like, like Jordan exploding kind of bad. <laughs> <laughs> You may not be proficient with magic, but you know it's not good. Now everyone's dead down here, and there's still a fight up on the hill. <laughs> In the moonlight. Wait, is Maple Sky still alive? Yeah, Maple <laughs> Sky's still alive. They've been exchanging blow after blow without any injuries. <laughs> and they're pretty close to each other, right? Yeah. 
I got um, this. I got this. Don't worry. Is the horse still alive? Yep. Yeah, a couple of horses are still prancing around. No, 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 sorry, the mage's horse. The oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mage's horse is still alive. It's uh, spooked and trotting around and stuff, but definitely still alive. Oh, okay. Is it like bleeding? Like it's... Oh, yeah, like it's on death's door. <laughs> Okay, I'll I'll put the horse out of its misery. I'll try to calm it down like when I can and then kind of do the <laughs> with my yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah, you kill the horse and collapses on its front legs and then just kind of <laughs> right on top of me. Oh, that was <laughs> and with the glass just <laughs> <laughs> okay. We make sure you kill the horse away from the down dog so it doesn't <laughs> well, he said it was kind of trotting around. I assumed that food just caught over wherever it was. And... Yeah. However, with the horse dying, the other ones just really spooked, and they just scattered from the cart. <laughs> <laughs> um, obviously, your guys don't. I mean, they're like freaking out, but they're not running with their cart or anything else. But the others, yeah, they just they start shutting off. Maple, the guy who's fighting you in this very long battle. <laughs> land the first blow in this exchange. Uh, yes, he does. Not a significant one, though. Three points of damage. After he strikes, he kind of, like, you know, put the shield up and gives him a smile. He looks down to see how his comrades are doing and realizes the big bloody mass of his friends. And and with that, while keeping the sword and shield up, he goes, Alright, I'll surrender if you let me live. What's he saying? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to attack. All right, that a girl. Go for it. Team to hit. Oh yeah, that's a hit. For five damage. All right, you strike him, and he says, "Curse you, dark one." Hi. What you like to do? Is he dead yet, Maple? <laughs> They're still exchanging blows. Do you need help? If I have to come up there... <laughs> Hurry up, Maple. I'm gonna go walk over oh. the mage. You're not gonna make, do any heal checks on your dog? Oh, he ran away. I'll, once he comes back. <laughs> yeah, he's stabilized at zero hit points now. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I'm just gonna yell, hurry up, and then I'm gonna go walk over to the, uh, the mage. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm just like... Ah! Antimaeus is there, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, with you near the mage? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you don't look so good, buddy. Here, let me uh, tend your wounds. And that's my turn. <laughs> you look like shit. <laughs> Six back. Okay, is that. Uh, what's that with that you can grant the points back? So that's the back. healer feat. So when I use a healer kit, nice. I can heal them. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. I have that. Wow, that is pretty awesome. Yep. I'm an able physician. And I'm a tavern brawler. <laughs> I heard people heat patches. Them up. Sorry, sorry about this. <laughs> oh, no, this never happened. Uh, it's long, but I've promised to happen. Uh, okay, awesome. So you we keep mean to keep someone alive to talk to in question, but yeah, <laughs> sometimes they're a little too bloody. <laughs> That's mass. You said the horses just started bolting, right? Uh, I'll, I'll just try to chase one. <laughs> uh, do you want to give me... Do you have athletics? Uh, no. I got acrobatics. Oh, I do have athletics. I lied. <laughs> yeah, but... Come on, car wheels, and you just have fun. The horse is back. <laughs> yeah, uh, he's like, I can't do this. Eight. Oh, wait. Slap <laughs> bandaid on him. I feel great. I'm going to run after this horse, but the horse is pretty quick. You're not making it to the ground. How many girls would you like to do? Well, I can see that they're about to deal with the mage whatever so is there anything on this horse bags or on the dead horse <laughs> yeah everybody's uh, doing nothing. their own thing that's so funny yeah, nothing <laughs> much outside of the saddle that's about it for like I hours actually, I didn't think that mage would have a horse on so on that horse so. I'll, I'll head over just setting up I'm still fighting over the whole way I'll head over to uh, search the captain 
Yeah, there's just still pedals. Like, you know, <laughs> Maple's a bitch. <laughs> I got this, guys. Well, she said she got this. I could throw a javelin, but then I might hit her. You kill her. Well, technically, we'd be even then. Get you back, you bitch. <laughs> Alright, Maple, the guy's right here is going to take another swing at you. Barely misses. You can feel the air of the blade swish past your head. Alright, what would you like to do? Good. Gonna... Try and slice at him. Just okay. like, just straight up with the sword. 21 to hit. For 6 damage. Alright. You kill the guy. Thank god. Oh my god. Thrust the sword into his stomach. He the ground. Passes out. I, 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 I'll just, I don't know, kind of do like a little rage cry after. Do a football dance. <laughs> <laughs> Touchdown! <laughs> Uh, Take his head off. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well rape him. Right. Well, that's no. what you so, do. Right? You no. guys are out of initiative now, so you may do what you wish. Um, so, Alagar, you were checking that, that body. Uh, checking that body, and also fairly curious as to what he's wearing as far as, like, like chain shirt or chain mail or some kind yeah. of... Yeah, the two guys so he's that got are his, by me, obviously his same. heavy cloak on. Um, he's also got kind of a tabard draped across his chest. Um, that is a, yeah, another symbol. None of, you'll notice none of the other soldiers have this. Um, it's just him. It's like this kind of white cloth with the gauntlet and the flaming sword over his heart. Um, but outside of that, his armor appears to be some sort of like scale mail or breastplate. Ooh. Tough to tell which. Okay. Um, that probably just comes down to while you're knowledgeable about armors, um, it's you're not you're not perfect knowledge, but you you probably gravitate more towards scale mail than anything else. Okay. Um, so that's the case. I would like to take his scale mail. Okay. So I'll take that for now, and then I'll like I said I'll keep searching to see whether. I mean, sure. Yeah, I'll let you know what else he has on here. And even like his, his weapon, I mean, it might be special. For yeah, for sure. So he's got um, his scale mail. He has a long sword, which looks fairly ornate. Um, so the hilt almost is shaped as if it were a gauntlet holding a sword hilt. Without getting too bulky, obviously. It's uh, so still graspable, but yeah, that's what it looks like. And then engraved on the blade looks like it's there's flames going up as so it's essentially their symbol but in his sword wow um, outside of that this guy has a curse on him as well and he's obviously fairly wealthy he has 22 gold pieces Damn. 8 silver and 16 copper I was just saying he rings or anything but uh, yeah, that... sorry. Yeah, yeah. He's definitely got rings. If you're doing a thorough pat down, I can give you a little. Oh yeah, I've got. Okay, so, yeah. Okay, so he's got a signet ring on again in the symbol of the the flaming sword. Um, it's surrounded uh, with a red background. I'm assuming you guys are gonna take a look at the other soldiers too. So I'll just let you know they have the exact same ring except it's a blue background instead of red. So all the rest of the blue, but he's got the red in the background. Um, outside of that, he's also got another ring that looks very, very ornate. It's kind of got an opal in the center of it, um, but no other distinct markings past that. Okay, um, I'm going to... Oh, shoot, sorry. Um... And then obviously he's got a shield as well, and a spear oh. inside him. Oh, oh, a spear as well. Yeah, spear is nothing special, just with half with... Uh, I'll, I'll take yeah. the spear if you don't want it, Scott. That's kind of oh, my yeah, thing. Oh yeah, I can hand it there, yeah. Um, that is unless someone else meant... wants it, but spears are kind of like my character's weapon of choice. Oh, okay, nice. So yeah, I'll, if that's the case, I'll know that and I'll just hand it to you. Um, I'll just mention, I don't know if we should keep some of these cloaks or stuff so we may need to look like these guys at some point. I'm sure they'll be... I'm sure there's I, I know you there. said they're black cloaks, but like what... Um type of material? Are they, like, good for, like, winter, or are they, like, light cloaks, or... 
Because I know you uh, said it's sorry. getting close to winter time, so... Yeah, uh, they're actually, sorry, they're actually gray. Oh, okay. uh, But outside of that, they're very, very heavy. Yeah, they're meant for winter. That's too close. Okay, who has, how many cloaks? Are they uh, all, all of them, so we'll have eight or seven? Or? There's seven, because the eighth guy is nowhere to be seen. As you're kind of pondering around looking for him. Oh, that's right. The guy who. Uh... Oh, yeah, the one that was still coming up. Yeah. yeah. I I'm in a rage. I'm not thinking about that. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. I'm still ready. Uh, I'll probably be coming off my rage by now, but I'm just like. Ah! To well, once, once the minute's up, we end our rage, so. Does that, uh, collar have a keyhole on it or anything like that? But you can see without touching it, taking a glance at it, doesn't appear to. It looks like a solid band of metal. No. Inspect it. <clears throat> Those two guys that I fought up on the hill, what do they have on them? Other than their cloaks and signet rings? Uh, signet rings, they have long swords, um, also spears with them as well. Like I said, cloaks, they each have shields, and then they have chain mail. Money. They've got seven silver and eight copper. Okay, so you're inspecting this um, ring. Anything in particular you want, or not ring? The uh, collar. Anything in particular you want to do with it? There. Uh, yeah, I want to see if there is some way I can remove it. Okay. Any latches? Right, you can give me intelligence check, please. Four. Alright, so you're looking at it, and you touch it, and you grab it, and try and look for something. Um, you feel heat course up your arm, as it feels like, it feels like you're not actually, but it feels like you're engulfed in flames, and you take 14 points of damage from an unknown source. Like, as that happens, obviously, it's uh, tough for you to see, but everybody else looking in will see, like, the collar looks like it just glowed, like, white hot for a moment. Shit. And then went back <clears throat> Don't touch the collar. I'm going to use a healer kit. <laughs> um, I'm going to just look around. I don't, so I can't see the guy who was handcuffed his party, right? He's gone, gone. Yeah, can't see him at all. Gone. Yeah, there's some small hills and stuff around here, right? So the only place you think, unless he had some other ability, would have been that he ran into some of the hills. So I'm actually just going to look around. The coast is cleared, and I'm just going to actually, you know, uh, change into this, with this captain's scale mill shirt on. Okay. And surprisingly, the captain was a fairly big guy, so it fits not, not too badly. Oh, yeah, I guess I should have. <laughs> no, 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 that, it fits, it fits quite well. <laughs> Maybe need a few adjustments so that, you know, some of the straps and stuff don't, don't dig in so much, but it's not, it's a weird mm. um, Alright, Jordan, can I get two more athletics checks from you? Natural, natural 20? Yep. And natural 20. Wow, okay, so not only do you get to a horse, you calm it down and, and tame it if you want. <laughs> this horse is your bitch now. I, yeah. I will name it Beth. <laughs> oh, oh, nice. Um, all right, oh, I didn't mean, so... it's just... Or, sorry, it's... Uh, I'm gonna just walk up and kill it now. <laughs> <laughs> we already got I'll lots of dead horses horse laying around. Like to do with it. Um, snap a snack. <laughs> just for the sake of, of knowing what I see and not yeah. trying to mend game, do I see anything around me? Because I assume the horse was going in the direction of their camp. Which is a little bit to the east, apparently. Yeah, so the, the horse, while traveling, yes, eastward, uh, hasn't gotten near where the camp would be. Um, presumably the camp is past the farm, which... Yeah, because yeah, yeah, it was a day's ride or whatever. Yeah, yeah exactly. So, so there's... Nothing super special. Nothing you can see at this point, no. Right. Can I jump on the horse and ride back? <laughs> Alright. And Shemaeus rides back with a new horse. A new war horse. <laughs> yeah. Alright, what would like the rest of you like to do? I'm going to tie up that mage and stuff one of my socks in his mouth, and then put him in the back of the wagon. Are you already hey. down a sock? No, I had, I had a old meat in my boot for a while. That's yeah. what it was. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put. Uh... Is um. 
Yeah. Is Elmagar wearing the, the the armor and as the shield? Does anyone have like the shield and sword and stuff like that out that I noticed, Alex? Um, uh, I don't believe anyone is actually. Um, I just put on the sh just a chain shirt. Yeah. And then yeah, I'm actually cart. heading. I'm about to put like the stuff in the cart. Like I'm gonna put the, the all the, the the gold and the group loot and the. I'll show everybody the ring and the and the and the axe, or sort of the long sword, because it was pretty cool looking. So yeah, I'll so lay them out on the card to look. Do you want me to write all that down, Scott, or do you want to track it separately? Um, I think I'm just putting the group loot, so whoever is taking. Keep okay, track then I, of that. I I need to know the amounts then. Uh, twenty-two gold. Actually, I'll just throw twenty-two gold, and I'll keep the couple of silver copper pieces. Okay, so 22 gold. Uh, what about yeah. the, the sword and... The ornate long sword. Okay, so it was long sword. Are they all long swords? Yeah. yeah. So you find six long swords that are just standard, and then the seventh is the ornate long sword the guy was using. Okay. Um, and then outside of that, um, seven shields all standard, and then six chain mail, and obviously the seventh was scale mail, which is what uh, Alvinar is currently wearing. Now, are we going to keep all of that stuff, or just enough for us to wear, or are are you, you just throw, hide it somewhere, too? Uh... The, the chain shirts we should keep, I don't know if we want to keep it in with, with their symbol on it. Though. I mean, we do have a wagon, we can just toss it all in there and hopefully sell it when we get to a place, who knows? <laughs> Never know when someone wants to buy, yeah. you know. <laughs> are are you gonna use that ornate sword? Because I'll take that if you're not gonna use it. Um, I'll I'll discuss it with you guys because personally I you know my great axe will not while it's not like ornate it's my clan sword or, or great axe I should say. Oh okay. So I I don't think we should use any of this stuff if we're heading north. I, I think we should only keep it with us if we're going to use it as a disguise. If not, either get rid of the symbols off of it if we can and try and scavenge the material pieces. But I don't think we should be yeah. using any of this, preferably. Well, let's keep the, the sword hidden for now. And the rings we can put in our regular... We can, we can put the sword in the, the locking compartment in the on the cart. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, are you keeping the cloaks? Yeah, I'm gonna take the one. cloaks. You might as well throw in there in the back, yeah, because. Okay. So is anyone no. wearing anything from this aside from the scale mail that uh, the helmet is working? And the the armor itself doesn't have any markings on it. It's just the cloaks and the one guy's like cloth tabard he wore across his chest. Oh. Uh, that's about like so. The actual armor itself doesn't have any markings. The shields do though, right? Shields do. The shields have, yeah, the big symbol on them. Uh, I'm gonna wear the cloak just because it's cold, so... Okay. Well, <laughs> do the cloaks have the symbol? Yes. They oh, have okay. it on the heart in the front, at, like if you were to oh. close it, they have it on the heart, and they also have a large one on the back. Oh. Uh, <laughs> that's a... That changes things a little slow. I can take it off later, it's fine. Um... Um... Sina? Do you just want to track the loot for this, and then you can give it to me at the end? Because I'm tracking what's on the card right now. Okay. So, just so you know, because I have, like, a running total of gold from all of our sessions. Okay. And it's, it's quite a, it's quite large, so. I, I only track it if people tell me that they've added it into group loot. Or else my okay. character doesn't realize it's been added, so she hasn't tracked it, so. Well, so if you scavenge this, stuff and you don't this, put it in the group loot... It, but yeah. it, it's, if you want to write it down for me, that'd be fine. So if anyone wants to know what's on the card, I can let them know. So does the mage have a signet ring or any of this, um, the, these symbols upon him at all? Uh, he's wearing the cloak that has the symbols. Otherwise, no. No rings. No nothing. Is there a... It looks like he was a slave. Yeah. We almost... I mean, he might be waking up soon. I mean, we don't want to stay here too long. Well, I tied what the hell are we going to do now? Uh, I figured we could take him to the Ivory Tower. He might be one of their people. And who knows, he might be missing. They could maybe help him. 
I mean, I have him tied up. There's a sock in his mouth just in case. I mean, he's clearly dangerous to us, but we, we can't help him. Yeah. And what do we actually know about? That's right. The tower is where, yeah, where these people are. Yeah. What's the end of the chain like, Alex? Because I assume the chain's, like, you got the collar and then you have the chain just dangling off it. Yeah, it's just it's just a chain shirt. Yeah, it's not a full full body or anything. It's just a chain shirt. But yeah, it's just no, no, no. The guy he has the color. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, maybe it's gonna. It's just like a. It's a obviously a series of loops and loops. Sorry, and then at the end, it's got kind of this weird leather handle thing. Maple's gonna pipe up. Maybe someone should pick up the ordnance sword and see if it can do anything to the chain. I'm not going near that collar, because. I almost died. I swear Just to God, I almost someone died. give it a command to say like <laughs> release or something. Maybe. Um. I don't know. Did I? I touched just the chain last time, right, Alex? Before I was like, "What the hey?" I'm gonna grab the handle. Okay. All right. Uh, can you give me an intelligence uh, saving throw? Dang it! I'm gonna die. <laughs> yep. Yep. I am. Eight. Eleven points of damage, sir as the chain collar turned white hot and you feel this heat course up your arm into your body. Even when I touch the handle, the chain, so it goes all the way up? All the way up. Okay, I'm unconscious. All right. <laughs> Antimaeus just grabs it. You guys see this glow from the chain the, the collar, and he just flops over. Okay, I'll go stabilize him. <laughs> While he's doing that, I'd like to slip on one of the signet rings, okay. and I'm going to go touch the handle. Of that chain. Okay. All right. With so and the right. hand that has the signet ring on. The red one, the one the captain was wearing. That, that I just well, that's to. that's. I was getting to that. I was gonna say I want to grab the, okay, the specifically like... the red one if I can. Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll ask. I'll be like I'm gonna try this, guys. Uh, hey, English kids, do we have? <laughs> uh, four. <laughs> uh, I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll stop. Boys. I'll stop, Maple. I'll Here's be like I'll uh, get up, and I'll be like. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Just let me do it. <laughs> I got this. <laughs> no, seriously. There's no point in anyone else getting hurt. No, I'm no, no. I'm expert with this chain. <laughs> Fool me All three right. times. <laughs> Who's doing it, folks? You I got the ring on. I'm, I'm going to try. Hey, give me an intelligence saving throw, please, Maple. Rest, Antimaeus. Drink plenty of fluids. Fourteen. The barbarian is smarter than... Combined. I wrote really bad. <laughs> so did I. I got I got two twenties on this prior. So, so did I. Yeah. <laughs> like I know this chain. <laughs> All right, you feel the heat and kind of see it start glowing, but you're quick enough to clear your hand off. Okay, and with that, I will take off the signet ring and be like, it don't work. <laughs> Just leave it for more capable hands. We don't. We know nothing about magic, or whatever this is supposed to be. Um, what are we gonna do now, everyone? Like, are we? We can't stay here. We're sitting ducks. No, we're going to the forest, and we're gonna rest and find a nice place to hide. What about <laughs> this guy? He's coming with us. Can I? Can I just in the back drag of the him? Can I just drag him to the end of the chain and like drop him so the collar touches the end of the chain? Oh, I see. So you, like, lift, kind of lift it off them. So I don't actually have to touch this. Yeah. yeah. So I don't have to touch anything. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you grab them and you go and drag them and put them on top of the chain. It doesn't have any effect or anything else. Okay, can we just Can kill we use him? a dead body no. to get it off? No. We're not killing this guy. No. So he wakes up. He'll if just I drop to... his head. No. I, I no. The collar An off. Animes, no. This will go to sleep. Easy way to get the collar <laughs> off this guy. You're just feverish, um, you were just unconscious. Lay down. As, as I'm looking at him, kind of like, you know, those cat memes, where the cat looks at the owner and then does something stupid. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. I'm gonna, I'm gonna smoke the collar with my sword. Oh, God. Alright, can you give me an attack roll? Let's see how accurate you are swinging a sword at a neck. <laughs> I said do with the ordinance. Uh, 13. Alright. 
Yeah, you strike the collar. Um, sparks fly as the metal of the sword hits the collar. Silver on silver. I feel confident. Is there any writing on these collars, or is this one still smooth, no insignia? Smooth, nothing else on it. Uh, Jordan, your, your sword explodes. Sharks fly every which way. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Son of a gun! It's like trying to destroy the luckily, one ring! Luckily, none of you were hit by the shrapnel, but it's a close call several times. And Antoninus is pissed and okay, grabbed okay, the short leave, sword off a wagon. Leave the collar and go alone. At it again. We just, we just got out of a huge fight and we're sure. gonna die by this collar. Yeah, just exactly. no more. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'm putting my, my gauntlet down. Um. Yeah. With that, I, I'm gonna let the group know, um, so I'm just gonna go run down this hill and go grab my hunting trap that took out the first horse. I'm gonna take Chief with me just for some backup, just in case that one straggler is still hanging out or down there. Okay. Um, and so while they're so... fighting with the chain and doing that, I'm gonna run down there and try and get my hunting trap. How, like, vigorously and, like, how intensely are you swinging the sword? Are you really <laughs> just trying to go all out, or are you actually oh, yeah. trying to go <laughs> No, no, no. I hate this I'm thing. gonna go see if I can comment <laughs> with damage, please. Uh, um... <laughs> five. Just, just that cat that looks at him that does something stupid. He was already pretty much dead, so... <laughs> Alright, um... So... Antimaeus, you, you miss the collar, the sword sinks into the guy's neck, uh, blood spurts. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's more than enough to get about halfway through the guy's neck. Um, I don't pull out. I just leave it. Just, wait, 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 wait! Um, just, I'll, wait, I'll, wait. Just, just, I'm gonna try to appeal to your evil side. If you keep him alive, we can use oh, yeah. him as bait, it's you know? People can touch the collar and they'll explode. And... <laughs> um, Maple, are you still, like, holding the Captain Signet ring? Yeah. Okay. Alright, you see it glow for a moment, like, just a brief little whoop, and the collar goes whoop uh, at the same time. Uh -oh. And I need everyone, please, to make <laughs> saving throw. Danger sense! I get an advantage! Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, I refuse. I'm not doing it. <laughs> he was just a ticking time bomb. That's all I'm saying. I've already died once tonight. What's another time? Fifteen. Right? Bye, you're just staring at your time, man. Uh, seventeen. Okay. Fourteen. I'm like the most dexterous guy. This is such bogus. <laughs> Ten. Ouch. Yeah. Bye. Look at his danger sense. And he blows up. He was smashing the wrong thing. You realize I haven't been hit this whole fight, right? And now I'm gonna. <laughs> <laughs> this karma. All right, um, Antimaeus, um, uh, I'm out. <laughs> Maple and, uh, I, you each take 11 points of damage. Um, Almagar, you take 22 points Holy of damage. Shit. Um, the collar yeah. bursts, the head explodes, so is the upper half of the body. Um, the cart blows in half at its center. He was out there with the cart. <laughs> And no, we was No, we didn't. Was we didn't get him to I the cart. I dragged him off the cart to, to like, touch the chain. Yeah. Okay, my bad. The cart is then not injured. Oh. Heartless. Well, that's um, semi good news. As all four of you dive to the ground, or rather, the three of you successfully dive to the ground. Almagar's a little late. Um, white. <laughs> guys, I think he's and, <laughs> and shrieking bolts fly from this thing as it explodes <laughs> and just yeah hits all of you. Oh. Is anyone still conscious? I am conscious. Okay. Um, I'm conscious. I'm conscious yes. as well. I have oh, one okay. hit point. <laughs> one. <In Jordan's. laughs> After using oh, the healer's kit twice. Uh, 
You're unconscious again? Okay. Are you unconscious? Right, so, Good. So, so, <laughs> I'm going to stabilize Antimaeus, but I don't want him awake. I want him completely unconscious, but stable. That's that's fine. Technically, stabilization brings you to zero, which in 5 e actually doesn't make you conscious. Think about what you um, did. Like, <laughs> or like, dream about what you did. Yeah, I can't hear you. <laughs> yeah, so. Um, yeah. Yeah. You know what? Out of game, it was a great lesson to learn, people. <laughs> Don't touch the collar. I just, the chain. I love how you like, described it. Just, you know, I'm that cat that just looks at you and does something stupid anyway. It's like, yeah. <laughs> Here we go. I like how we all, all right, touch the collar see. at least three times. <laughs> I only did it the once. I suggested other methods, but I'm like, no, I'm going to use the ring to touch it. <laughs> Nothing. So, hmm, doesn't work, guys. Don't know. <laughs> for, for the record, it does get worse here. Um, oh, no. So. I'm already dead. <laughs> um, so I need... Uh, Two uh, d twenties from uh, everybody. Don't add anything to it, and I'll, yes. I'll go through and ask each of you. And Jordan, roll disadvantage on. The oh, board. fuck! I'll uh, just take the first two rolled as the no one be good. disadvantage. No, roll the other one. No, no. Here's better than mine. Roll the first two, and then what? I already rolled two, so I kind of... Okay, yeah, so just take the higher of the two, that'll or the lower of the two, that'll be the one with disadvantage, oh, and then roll another one after. <laughs> I did a nat 20. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, no. not really so dead. A little what was the second d20? Or what was the, sorry, what were your two d20 scores there? Anyways? It was 25 7. Jerk. It's a pile of mushy pulp okay. on the ground. <laughs> um, Alright, Maple, what was your 2d20 rolls? Where the hell did Animaeus go? There's just like a bunch One of goop left. And five. Oh, it gets worse. One oh, and four. No, God. <laughs> <laughs> he got wiped again? <laughs> Wait, you both rolled what? We both ones? rolled ones. She got a five, and I got a four. What did you get there, Almagar? I rolled a nineteen and a thirteen. <laughs> Good job, buddy. It's because you hit the ground team. later. You you took the brunt of the first 20, hit. Okay. It's only one thing after these ones. So don't worry. Um. So, uh, Antimaeus, the sword that you struck the guy's neck with burst apart as well as the burns rendered your armor useless. Um, <laughs> Maple, um, your primary weapon, which I believe is a spear, right? Yeah. Um, that is burst apart along with two other spears that okay. were damaged, um, and your armor is rendered useless. I don't have armor. Oh, okay, perfect. So your skin's then, under... Yes, then your, skin's your chest perfect. explodes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Pi, same drill, your Tip primary is weapon is destroyed, and your armor is rendered useless. Oh, okay, God. well, we're down three spears. Uh, also, that, that cloak you're wearing is burnt through as well. So, can, can, um, I, can I assume anything that had that symbol on it is gone up? No, 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 that's, oh. that's still fine. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah, it was just uh, the weapon and the armor. And Almagar, your weapon and armor are fine. I'm just okay, gonna start looking at everyone mostly. What the fuck's your problem? One, one last thing. Got... Uh, can I get a, please, a constitution save from everyone now? A con save? Just one roll? Yep. Okay. Oh, that's better. Oh no, George, do give me that look. Oh, and I'm proficient in car. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, is it a save? Yeah. Oh, even better. 21. Six. Okay. Eight, I mean, sorry. Okay. Just sixteen. But Jordan's right, you learned a valuable lesson. Don't fuck with the colors. <laughs> this is why I don't like magic, guys. Never good. Ever. 
So, as I say, number one, we need to. Well, yeah. Live? I think <laughs> even in game, our in game knowledge, we're just flying blind by the seat of our pants. We have no idea where we're going. We're just like. <laughs> we're just running away from one bad situation. We can get into it. That's what's <laughs> fun about it, though. <clears throat> So what do we do now? Because I'm I think, pretty close to death. I think we should try and take some refuge in that burnt down uh, house now. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what burning. else to do. Well, it might what still be burning, thing? but I mean... Or hide the cart somewhere, but I don't Well, that's know. what I'm thinking. That might be our best bet to kind of bunker down for the night. Cause there's still that one guy that's out. If the farmhouse burns down, there might be still a cellar that's <laughs> I'll still get us some uh, shelter. Yeah, they wouldn't go back there twice. And it'll take that guy at least a day or two to get back to his camp. Same thing, if we head to the forest, we're... I mean, anyone can track us. <laughs> anyone looking for us will find us, so... I'm sure they'll be happy once, once that one guy gets yeah. back to his superiors. That other guy, though, has no idea where we're going. That's why if we stick to the road, he shouldn't be able to track us. Mm, no, because I said I was going to the ivory tower. But he wasn't there with us when you said that. He was the guy that was out. That I... Yeah. Like, my hunting trap <laughs> got his horse. Oh, oh okay. Right. My <laughs> guess is, other than the person holding the ring, they might know back at their camp that something happened to these guys. If not only our signias and all of that are exploding, they might have something oh, exploding back at their camp. So they might know before we're like, oh, that one guy gets back to his camp. They might already have parties heading out. That's why I think maybe <laughs> going to that the burnt down house or just continuing on through the night, but... I don't know, we're all kind of hurt. So that's what Continue on to the night, I mean, for me, aside from rest or healing or... I was completely unscathed until that explosion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, I, I was just under four I Keep in mind six. that um, you guys don't fully understand what's happened here, but... Um, Regardless, it's it's going to happen. So I can tell you the, the game mechanics behind it. So essentially, um, Xena and Scott, you succeeded. So you nothing happens to you guys. Um, Pi and Jordan, you each are cursed, and you essentially now, no. until you can remove said curse, have disadvantage on all charisma checks. <laughs> I, I have a negative one in charisma anyway. <laughs> Alright. I scoff All right. at your curse. So from now I've on, always been cursed. Our fearless leader, Pythagoras, is not allowed to talk. We will do the talking for him. So, yeah, whenever you guys. It's like, the barbarians to, to do the talking. That people aren't quite as engaged with you as they were previously. You know, maybe people used to spit at you a lot, Pi, but now they're like, it's too much of time. I'm used to it. Every time he talks, just shit comes out. <laughs> You guys are definitely aware that there's a problem with you, so I'm not saying you can't seek a way to fix it. So you do understand that yeah. something magically has happened to you, but you just don't quite understand exactly what it is. Okay. So and that's what it is spiritual after body kind of outer body experience is like, hmm, I think my dead body's cursed. <laughs> ah shit. <laughs> Alright, so that is the, the the full effect of the effects there um, for the record, so Sorry about that, but yeah, nasty things, those colors. That's, um, a, cool, uh, that's a pretty cool thing, though. <laughs> um, yeah, cool. So, question Is anyone helping Antimaeus, or is he just gonna hang out there and bleed out? Oh, no, sorry, you stabilized. Yeah, I stabilized. My bad. You already stabilized. I just don't want him awake. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, technically, the stabilization, I think, in, in five, they, they go unconscious, but. Um, because I didn't realize that until I just looked at it five minutes ago. We keep everybody okay. else away. Oh, in that case, we gotta just do we just head on down the road, head to the farm, head to the woods. Good question. Dig ourselves a hole to hide in. <laughs> Let's go hide in a big mass, creative. 
Yeah, I mean, the farm isn't too far, is it? No, it was only a couple hours from where we were. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. we should go back there. What if... Yeah, what if we can get... It's a, it's the a couple dead hours to the farm, and then, to the farm, then, farm then, so. then the forest. Oh, yeah, okay, let's do that then. So then when we get up, it could just go straight into the forest pretty much. I don't fucking know, you bitch. Sorry, I don't know what's wrong with me today. <clears throat> <laughs> it's the clerics. I, I, I'm hurt too, so I'm just like, should I punch him? No, we'll, we'll let it slide this time. And call that the maple I are just treating Xenolic shit. Like, the curse just forgot. I'm not playing right now. It's the curse. <laughs> All right, you assholes, let's get out of here. <laughs> There's your fearless <laughs> All right, um, so you guys are heading towards the farm. Is what's happening? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, um, you guys, like uh, like Zena said, it only takes a couple hours to get there. So you arrive. The burning has kind of descended. So it looks like this was a small farm, a couple of fields. The crops themselves aren't torched or anything else. What is, is like the stable and the barn and like what appears to be a house. However, um, those are just kind of smoldering and cindering at this point. You'll also see um, five dead bodies um, lying in the center of the, of the kind of area around the, the barn and stuff. And it looks like there's three adults there and two what look like children um, just yet. Yeah, Dead in the dead on the ground there. Um, appear to probably be like, you know, they look pretty clean folks. So probably the farmers that own the place or something. Um, you will also see that there is a large board that's kind of stuck in the ground that was potentially um, from the barn. It looks like it's the same color. It has ropes tied around it that were cut, but the whole like it's standing in the mud and the whole front side of it oh. is just drenched in blood. Also, uh, on the way back mm -hmm. while, while we headed to the farm after we got blowed up there yep. and all that, I did want to grab my hunting trap. Sure, yeah, 100%. Okay. So you grab that and you find, uh, <laughs> yeah, like a foot and get it. I'm going to take Who's that horse, that, that, that horse foot, too. I'm going to take that. Well, oh, well, cook it in the, just... we'll cook it in the farm we'll have horse meat in the morning, guys. Yay. I'm going to be riding in the cart. I'm, I'm, yeah. yeah. I'll be riding the cart making sure Animaeus doesn't fall off. <laughs> um, so, Jordan, can you give me uh, two constitution checks, please? So you arrive, this board um, looks honestly like, um, like somebody was tortured on it before they were cut down. Um, and as you get a little bit closer, you can definitely tell it looks like it's the... There's two people that probably were subjected to whatever was happening here. Uh, there's two males, two of the adults, and they one of the guys has, like, his skin peeled back on his hand, and the other one looks like, um, in addition to the slit throat that he has, um, is, like, missing an eye and is cut up all over his face. Yeah, I bet they really wanted to talk to you back at their camp. They'll probably make it. <laughs> <laughs> so is yeah, the barn so, um, completely burned down? Like, is there a roof on uh, it? or? <clears throat> yeah, like, the roof has, like, holes and stuff in it. The whole thing didn't, like, burn to a crisp or anything else. It was probably more so a fire in, like, the hayloft or something. Um, but, yeah, there's, like, it's burning, and it'll, you know, depending on uh, what your guys' knowledge is, I'll let you know now, it's, it's probably going to collapse in on itself at some point. I mean, it's not still up the flames, but yeah, not in great condition. Is the, the house okay to, <laughs> to rest in? A uh, house, because it has kind of a stone foundation. All, all the wood parts are burnt and are kind of ash and, and cinder right now, but it's got some stone walls and kind of like a partial stone roof. That you is, can is there a back cellar to the house? Uh, yeah, if you go around to check the back, there certainly is. And it looks untouched by the fire. Let's go in. I would like to check that. Okay. All right, yeah, just a couple simple wooden doors, um, but they back a stone wall of the house, which is why the fire didn't make it to them. And, yeah, they're not locked or anything else. You can swing them open, and it looks like a small little cellar at the base of some stairs down there holding. You just make some rain. That sort of thing. 
Uh, guys, I'm gonna go check the back oh, cellar yeah. here, see if there's anything and of in. use. Yeah, we might be able to find some decent shelter in here for the night. Yeah, might have to do that. I'm gonna stay in the car, like I said, I'm, I'm still pretty Yeah, anxious. I said I'll, I'll, I'll check it out, so I'll, I'll head Tending in. to my wounds as much as I can. I'm gonna grab off of the, the cart one of the little lanterns. So I'm not yeah. going in the, the cellar just pitch black, so. Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah, you grab the lantern, light it, you uh, head into the cellar then? Yeah. Yeah, it seems like a pretty plain cellar. There's some hay on the ground, um, a couple crates, a few bags of grain, and what appear to be horse feed. But other than that, not much down here. Yeah. Uh, just here. When I come to, how do I use the healing things? I have two, right? Or is it one per level? I can't remember what it is. Oh, uh, yeah, you should have one per level, so I think two total. And then, yeah, you can just roll them if you'd like. Cellar is going to be pretty bare. Yeah. I'll come back and I'll let everyone know that the cellar might be a good place to camp down for the night. Get Antimaeus in here. And... What about the cart? Is there anywhere we can hide the cart? Or... I was thinking Underneath just keep, keeping it back here at the, the back of the house. Yeah, have chief guard it. <clears throat> yeah, we can have the, the dog stay on it. Jodra needs a rest. Well, it's like you're so going to stay on it. down in the cellar so with a bunch of people show up on it. surround us. Rest it. Okay, I'm going to put Chief on guard duty with the horses. We're just going to keep them around by the, the back cellar, but I'll see if I can maybe tie the horses up to the, like, a cellar door or something so at least they're they're there, okay. but they can still kind of rest. And I'll bring up maybe a bag of feed so they can at least munch on something and keep them good for a little while. Okay. Oh. Shit. We left all our we left our crossbows on the ground back there. I know I did. <laughs> I put mine away. I still have mine. You want a crossbow? <laughs> oh I do, but not if you could use it. <laughs> um can uh Maple Pie and uh Almagar please give me perception checks. Eighteen. Thirteen. Okay. Twenty-two. So are you all going to the cellar then? Yep. I'm not, no. I I'm going to stay up with the cart. I'm just going to keep a lookout and I'm going to, like, say, just stop bleeding there and there where I can. <laughs> okay. Keith is going to stay out and guard. All right. Yeah, I'm going in. So Maple and, uh, and Pi, you, uh, you head down to the cellar. Are you guys going uh, to try and get some rest? Yeah. All right, Almagar, you're patching yourself up. But otherwise, you're hanging out with the cart. I'm going to spend a healing down. <clears throat> oh, I need to rest so bad. Um, so is everyone down in the cellar now? Uh, the three of you are, yeah. Oh, yeah, bring Jordan down here, obviously. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just leave him in the cart. Think about what you did. Okay. When you uh, when you go to go grab Jordan, uh, he's gone. Oh, because he was in the cart right with you the whole time. <laughs> he was. So at some point, when you turned your back or looked around, he disappeared. Uh. <laughs> he's got a new rogue. <laughs> I'm just saying I mean he blew up my favorite rapier almost killed all of us killed numerous he's a murderer honestly but <laughs> so uh Algamar are you gonna tell the rest of us that Antimaeus is gone you're the only one on the card with him <laughs> or are you just going to keep that to yourself oh. and be like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Oops. No, no, you guys were going to bring him with you, though, right? I, I wasn't. I was making sure the horses were okay, and I, I checked uh, ahead to make sure that the cellar was okay. But I had nothing to do with Antimaeus. I just forgot. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, yeah, I'll go and tell you guys that, and then, like I said, I'm pretty much exhausted, so I'll have to... 
Yeah. I still like the idea of sleeping. I will suggest that it might be better to wait until morning to support him while we have some light and our wounds are mm -hmm. <laughs> licked, <laughs> so to speak. Um, so you guys, you guys rest, um, you know, your lovely rest, rest of this, um, regain some hit points, um, your, you know, fix up some of your wounds, but you are all woken to an early morning with the sound of the dogs barking outside of something. Well, that's, that's where we'll leave it.